is Layla and I'm the owner of Top Financial Agency. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to create tax-free retirement using a financial strategy called Kaizen. So I want you to think about it like this. We use lenders to buy cars. We use lenders to buy homes. But have you ever considered that you could use a lender as leverage for your retirement? So that's what I'm going to talk to you about. And I'm going to show you an illustration. So, but first, who is this product for? I would say this product is good for somebody who maybe wants to catch up in retirement or who really understands leverage when it comes to growing your assets. So let's say that you'd like to have a million dollars saved up towards retirement. And if you draw out 10%, you'll have about $100,000 annually. But there's three things that I want you to consider. Number one, are you going to be paying taxes on that 100 grand? And if you do pay taxes, what are taxes going to be in the future? And uh, how much are you really going to end up with after you pay your taxes? Number two, how much money are you going to need to put aside annually or monthly uh, in order to reach your retirement goals? And number three, is that million dollars that you finally saved up after all of these years, is it guaranteed from loss? Or is there a potential that when there is a downside in the market, you're also going to lose some of that money? So I'm going to show you some numbers to give you sort of a real idea of how much money you need to save. So let's say you are, you're starting to save when you're 20 years old and we're going to assume an 8% rate of return and your goal is to have a million dollars for your retirement at the age of 65. So starting at 20 years old, you need to be saving $200 a month. Let's say you wait 10 years and now you're 30 years old. Now it more than doubles. You need to save $500 a month in order to hit $1 million by the time you're 65, assuming just 8% rate of return. I'm not considering inflation or anything. But let's say you wait until you're 40 years old. Now you've got to save $1,200. And if you wait until you're 50, now you need to save $3,100 a month in order to get to $1 million by the time you're 65. I don't know about you, but I don't know a lot of 20 year olds that are saving $200 a month, very few 30 year olds that are consistently saving $500 a month. And there's fewer 40 year olds that I can think of that are consistently and on a regular basis saving $1,200 a month. Now, on the other hand, you've got other people that are maybe maxed out on how much money they can save towards their existing accounts, um, but maybe they still have money to invest. And others may want to switch up their savings plans and not necessarily put so much money into tax deferred products. In other words, they want tax diversification. And that's something you got to think about. Where are you saving your money? Is everything tax now? tax later and how much of your money is in the tax never bucket and if you don't have that much money in the tax never bucket then this is a strategy that you might want to really consider finally there's some people that really want guarantees of not losing any money when the stock market drops so if you find that you want um, potential tax-free income, you want guarantees from any loss, any uh, market downsides. And if you want to catch up on retirement or better yet, if you want to use leverage for your retirement, this strategy, Kaizen, might be the strategy for you. So let me show you a real life illustration. Okay, so you are seeing some behind the scenes footage. Well, just an illustration software program. So we are going to do an example of a 30 year old male and let's say he's contributing $28,000 annually. Okay. The contribution is about $21,000 based on his age. So I would say the minimum that you can contribute is around 21 to 25,000. It really depends on, on your age. Um, so let's say he does that. So 30 male, now, this is the way that it works. You contribute for the first five years, and that's it. The lender is going to contribute for 10 years. 
So you see here, you contribute one, two, three, four, five. The lender will do one through five. And then starting six through 10, they contribute almost a double. So this is how the math breaks down. In this scenario, he's contributing 28,000 for the first five years. So his um, total contribution is gonna be $140,000. The lender will contribute up to 26,000 the first five years and 52,000 years six through 10. So you can see it's about double. So the lender is gonna contribute 394,000. So total contributions is $534. Whereas you really only contributed $140,000. So now starting at age 65, the potential tax-free distributions when using policy loans is $172,000 a year. Did I say tax-free? I said tax-free. Now, if we started him at 35 years old, contributing 28,000, this was about $116,000, okay? So that is what works. Now, let me show you some comparisons. So, so we're gonna compare now doing this strategy. So using leverage, if you use leverage, it is a 65 to 90, you'll have the always potential because legalities. You're taking it out as a loan. You don't pay taxes on loans. That's how it's a tax-free product, but you know, whatever legalities. So we say potential tax-free retirement products, but if there's just, there's just, there's a way to do it. Just do it that way. So potential annual distribution is $172,000. We also say potential annual distribution. Is it guaranteed? No. You're, are you guaranteed to get $172,000? Like absolutely guaranteed. No. But when you have money in a 401k, is that guaranteed? Not at all. I mean, you have the potential to lose a lot of it, if not all of it, depending on how the market goes. If you have a guarantee when you put your money in, in an IRA or a Roth IRA that that's what you're going to get. No, because it's a base on the stock market, right? So this is using an indexed universal life insurance product. That's where you're funding. So you're opening up a life insurance product. And then a lender is going to lend it using the life insurance product as collateral. So that already tells you if a lender is willing to, uh, you know, uh, front or put all this money into this IUL, the IUL has got to be pretty safe in order for them to consider using this financial strategy and have that life insurance policy as collateral for them. At the end of the 15 years, so the 10 years that they're paying, you pay five, they pay 10, you let the policy grow. Then after 15 years, they, the lender's going to get their money back from the cash value. You're going to keep the remainder of the cash value as well as the death benefit uh, is going to be yours as well. There's a couple carriers that you could use and they'll have different types of living benefits. So if you get a terminal illness or chronic illness, you could use that death benefit while you're alive. So there's other benefits to it. It's not just putting your money in an IRA or a Roth IRA. There's a lot of benefits. There's a guarantee. There's indexing tax free potential. So I think it's a really good strategy. Let's say you buy an index life policy without the leverage, then you can still get paid about $97,000 annually, which pretty good, right? I mean, it's still potentially tax-free because you're still using um, a life insurance product in IUL. Let's do an after-tax investment versus tax-deferred investment. So then you're looking at like rocks, um, 401ks, IRAs. So it's kind of comparing those two. After-tax investment, you would get about 55000 that you have the potential for. A tax-deferred investment, you'd have about 72000 so the leverage really works. I mean, that makes sense. I mean, you're using leverage in order to grow your retirement. So I hope that this made sense to you. And I hope that it brought you a lot of value. And if you'd like to learn more, you can head over to topfinancialagency.com. Under services, click tax-free retirement. Enter your info to learn more. And thank you. Have a good day.